Are you serious? Yo! Welcome to How to Kill an Hour. I'm Marcus Bronzy. I'm Sean. <laughs> Uh, this is the show where Sean and I scour the internet and have a chat about it. Also talk about how we've been killing time as well away from the internet and in the world that is real life. Um, we kick it off the part of the show, this part of the show called Kill a Bit, where we ask each other how we've been killing a bit of time. But before we ask that, how you doing, Sean? You right, mate? Not too bad, bro. Not too bad. Not, not, too, too, not bad. too bad. You're back from India now. Do you feel like your tummy has adjusted to the British climate and food now? Can you eat things like, I'm trying to think of a British thing, but that would be British curry in it. That's kind of British dish. Could you eat fish and chips now without feeling a bit funny? Yeah. And also, how disappointing, I was thinking last week after we recorded, how disappointing would it be to be someone who's come from so much flavour and spice and then eat fish and chips? It's a tough one, man. Because I do like fish and chips, but... Me thinking about eating fish and chips after having a curry the night before, after having that medley of flavours in your mouth. Do you know? What, do you know what it is as well? Is that and I do love fish and chips. The, yeah, especially in like, I like I love fish and chips as mm. well. Mushy peas. Oh, yeah. yeah, but in Ketchup. Southeast Asia and South Asia, yeah, their savoury, their savoury snacks mm. are all super flavoursome. Okay, like. There, you have lots of sour stuff or you mm. have like um, a mixture of like Bombay mix with it's got like chopped onions and coriander in it and then it's got oh. like these like rice puffs and it's yo that and a cold beer it. all about it that and a cold ice cold beer all about bring it. that to me uh, <laughs> how have you been killing time this week though Sean oh it's been um, it's been a tough one this week I, I did watch another I did watch another absolutely great shit film Wow! So you're because because you've highly recommended Cocaine Bear, which is on my list. This, I'm gonna this is, this I'm is, gonna hit this it. Is on a yeah. this is on a, this is on like a similar level. Okay, all right, all right. Talk to me, talk to talk to me, talk to me. Talk the to Meg me. Two. <laughs> you've watched it. The Meg Two. Without me, bro. Yeah, I would have watched yeah, it with yeah. you, bro. Sorry, man. Had to watch it. Oh, I believe you already had plans to watch it before you because I was. We did mention it before. <laughs> did mention it before. I can't man. lie, you, bro. You had you had your you had your window and you just you, you didn't. With one you of had your jiu-jitsu oh, window. Man, I did have my decided. jiu-jitsu window. Yeah, my car jiu-jitsu, <laughs> your car window. jiu-jitsu window. Because, I mean, the listener doesn't know this, but they will now. Jason Statham is one of our favourite actors. Not saying that they're our, our best actor in terms of being a thespian, and I don't think he'll be offended by that, but he is. Me and Sean, we love a good Jason Statham, don't we? Yep. I, and I like it when he's not got the American accent. I like a British Jason Statham. I don't like when he yeah, goes, the, hey man, what's going on? Because I, I feel like halfway through the film, it slips out, doesn't it? It slips I, off. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about his American accent. I, I'm like, what the hell are you talking American, about? If you're American, yeah. uh, could you let us know what you think of his American accent, please? I'm not American, Sean. I'm going to let you know what they think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know what they think of it. I'm not impressed. No, but, uh, but like, for instance, there, have you seen the, the clips of people um, talking about Idris Elba? Yes. When they've realised that yeah. he's not American yeah. and it hurt their soul. It hurt them, innit? Like, really he's one of us. Them. And like, oh my God, cut the toe. That's yeah. what they think. Yeah, but yeah. Hey, people have- he used to audition in American accent. So for The Wire, he walked into the audition Ameri- as an American person. In character. Person, but in char- well, not in character. Like maybe, I don't know, but he walked in and he spoke in an American accent as soon as he got in that oh, door. Oh, he picked up Idris. So they, so they probably didn't look at, they probably may have looked at his details. Maybe he didn't say he was from the UK, whatever, but he was just like that. I somehow think, Sean, the fact that you're trying to say that Jason Statham's British a- uh, American accent is on the same level as Idris's again. I'm not saying I'm going to say it. It Jason, I'm one of your biggest fans. I've bought yep. merch, films, DVDs, VHSs. I am involved. But at the same time, Sean, let's be honest, his American accent it ain't really. I mean, really, you're going to put it up there, top top American accents from a British person? No. no. But no. the Meg, anyway, sorry, I'm talking all over you, Sean. The Meg 2. Can you do you mind furnishing the audience with the the plot of the Meg One? I watched the Meg One and I can't remember it. <laughs> I, I I think I can. There was a there was some really deep water, and there was like this ice barrier, a there really cold ice barrier, ice barrier which stopped yeah. prehistoric <laughs> stopped stopped, <laughs> stopped prehistoric <laughs> animals coming through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. did some a boo boo. Someone did a wrong wrong a no no, and the ice barrier or cold water broke, and a fish came through it to the much warmer water and it was jaws on steroids megalodon. imagine it, a megalodon hence a gator meg and jason statham special shark catcher or killer or something <laughs> has to save the day is what i remember it being 
Yeah, no, I mean that's pretty much the uh, the like this like this. I'm, I'm terrible. With, I, I I saw the Meg one like uh, quite a while ago, yeah. and it wasn't one that I was going to hold on to exactly what happened because it wasn't necessary to do so. I remember the feelings that I have about films, yeah. but two three years down the line, I'm not going to remember what actually yeah. happened in it. I might be able to watch the Meg one again. Could you watch the one? Yeah, I could, one watch, I could watch the yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. See, 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 see. But I will say this: I think the Meg two is Meg two back for seconds. Oh, oh. Is that the full name yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, 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 it's at least a catch line. It's at least yeah, a catch yeah, line yeah, for nice it. Man, um, it was just everything that I wanted it to be. It was great. Is it? Yeah, it was absolutely great. Just spent the whole film. Just spent the whole film. Just taking the piss out of all of the holes in what's going on and the plot, and just enjoying every single minute of it. Uh, they didn't try. You know, sometimes they they try and wrap films up to make them out what they're not. It was exactly what it was supposed to be. Do you not think the honesty of films like that make them better to watch? It's exactly what it's like. It's like when you hear that you hear critics and they watch like Freddy versus Jason, but they're like their review of it is like they just watch something which they thought it was going to like they're like win an Oscar yeah. or something. You're like, no. like the acting wasn't very convincing. I'm like, have you seen what Freddy is meant to be? It's not really meant to be. Yeah, that shit annoys me. Uh, so was there some gravity dilation? Was there was there gravity rules being broken by Jason and the Meg? Everything, everything was there. Time every, dilation. Every rule, every rule was being broken, and that is what okay. is. That's what I love about it. All right, on a scale of Fast and Furious one to Fast and Furious ten, with the unrealism, with the lack of realism, where were you? With one being Fast and Furious one and ten being sorry X being Fast and Furious X part one of three. I'm going to adjust your oh, mic while you talk. Sorry, carry on. It's cool. I'm going to say it is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pushing it. It's pushing towards the. Um, yeah. The fast, fast ten. So it's closer it's to fast close, ten. Oh my yeah, days! Because yeah, 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 yeah. well, I mean, in that area, listen, my chair is squeaking the hell out of it. In that area of filming, in that area of the franchise, we've got cars in space. Oh yeah, that is, uh, that is very true. That is, it's, uh, bro, there's just stuff that there's just stuff that happens where you're like, come on, man. It was yeah. it was great to watch, but oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. It's like when you watch those um, videos of people completing trick shots, and you're like, they've obviously had to spend fifteen goes doing it. But you see the one time that it goes in, I bet the film's full of those, isn't it? Like him just throwing a harpoon and it just hitting something perfectly and just grabbing onto hey, it. You, you, you're, you're, you're already like, you're very warm already. Like I'm Sounds very much like the first sick. film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Some homemade harpoons that he goes, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, cool. Like, right, cool. like, a, like, like, I come, like, a, I feel like this, this Megalodon is, is, uh, makes the, the Megalodon in the first one look like small fry. Boy. And then, what man's on their jet ski but megalodon can't catch the jet ski i'm like how fast is this jet ski bro i've been on a jet ski and i'm gonna say they're fast i'm gonna presume it cannot be faster than a predator a preacher apex, apex, apex predator, predator. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 i still don't know what that means but it sounds good I, I sounded like I sounded like how high there. I still don't know what that shit means, but it sounds good. Now not a bit down to my And now not a. Yeah, man. Uh, Apex, Apex in it. I just top of the tree in it. It's like yeah. um, it's funny when people find out the name of these things because it was Alpha in it, and everyone found out that there was a level above Alpha male, and people are like, "I'm a Sigma male <sighs> now." In it, I'm like. You're a, you're a Sigma male, yeah? All right, cool. Anyway, <laughs> wrong podcast. But, um, so out of 10. Oi, for what it is, I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a solid nine because it was okay. everything that I wanted from the film. It delivered what I expected, but what I expect from the Meg 2 might be different to what someone else expects from the Meg 2, you know what I'm saying? I would say from the Meg 2, expect large shark. Large stay from, stay from in large shape. Large shark and yeah. other beings. And other, what? <laughs> Leave it there. All right, leave it there. Right. Leave the leave, leave it a bit of suspense. Nice, there. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all over that, bro. I'll watch that. I'll watch. That. I'll check it out. We'll talk about it next show. I'm very excited now. Sit still in the cinema, isn't it? I don't know. Did you watch it in the cinema? Are we... <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. I yeah, did. of course you did. Yes, of course you did. Mm. Um, right. So, Sean, I'm gonna raise. Or am I going to? I'm going to raise or I'm going to show you. You're going to watch the Meg Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've watched the Meg Three already in post production. I um, have also been watching television that I would say is probably not award winning TV. Oh, right, in the same way this, to Meg. 
Are we, yes, are we, get, show that, are we getting to the show you, that I teased you about? Wouldn't even tell me. You wouldn't even tell me what I, I, know, thought, I, I thought. I thought. I thought off camera you'd be, you'd actually tell me. Uh, you just you still didn't. I've now completed it all. Now I've watched it all. <gasps> I have been watching, and I and I want to say this. My style of TV is I love sci-fi and I love a good documentary. I am not a fan of um, trash TV or reality TV. However, I was at a dinner. And somebody who is of the same ilk as me says, look, Marcus, I don't usually like this stuff, but please watch season two, only season two okay. of 90 Day Fiance UK. Okay. The show where there's usually a, a, a someone from the UK and they have somebody come on, well, it's the premise of the show, so it's always somebody from outside of the UK who comes over. Oh, is it always someone they, from outside the UK, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it is. I oh, know I know no, not even. Basically, I, don't, I don't even know. Basically, reading the between the lines, it's, is this person coming over for a visa or not? That's what it is, isn't it? But it's people that have long distance relationships or have met somewhere outside of the UK or someone's been over and in order to stay together, they need to get married. Yo, okay. I, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... So just like the first season of... In the first season of Married at First Sight, which is another show, I know some of the contestants. Oh, they so. went to uni with me. Oh, okay. Very, very, a lot more of a serious show. Now that show is absolutely wild. It feels like Discovery, who are behind 90 Day Fiance, have gone, let's get the most eccentric people, the most fantastic characters, the brightest, loudest, wildest characters, who somehow, whatever they say, is absolutely entertaining, cliffhanging and hilarious, and let's put them together and make this show. Bro, this is some of the best television I have watched in my life. It is, and it's, it's like me telling you, Sean, these are the best chips I've had in my life. I'm not saying um, this is the best Wagyu steak of my life. This is some of the best chips I've had in my mm, life. Mm, good mm, flavour, mm. good crunch, entertaining. You want to share them. Same, you know same I mean? with like the movie thing. Like, that you know, we're getting involved. Exactly. Yeah, do you know what I mean? exactly. It's like, we don't go KFC asking for, you know, uh, a corn fed chicken in it. Just, you, I'm getting what, it's, what I'm served. But this show is fantastic. Uh, I've got some amazing, there's one of my favourite characters, Shane and Mert. They get married. Mert, Mert's a Turkish man. Um, they have some nice ups and downs, but they look like they have a really loving marriage. Um, there's also another character Character who cannot speak English to their, their other half. So watching them trying to communicate, and I'm I'm there thinking I don't want to spoil it, but I'm there thinking, how do you fall in love with somebody when you really cannot speak a word of of, of their language? Do you know what? Maybe it's easier to. You'd be like, I haven't got to listen to this person. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the cynical part of me just came. Out. I know, but I mean, I could probably hide behind like my dickhead niche. Uh, no, no, I could hide behind like my flipping, my flipping, na my nastiness by not speaking at all. Do you know what I mean? I could be like, uh huh, yeah, mm hmm, yeah. But yeah, there's characters in there that you don't know if they know each other until they learn how to speak the language, which is funny. Um, I'm trying to say it without spoiling it, man. There's um, is it, there's is a it, guy is who it can. New, is it a new series? Has been it, out for quite a while. It's, is this, it's is just it on? it's just finished. So it's so okay, so like, okay, okay, it's, it's so okay, okay. There's a guy who can only say "I love you, chicken." pretty much alongside a couple of other words to his, to his other half. So right. you can imagine how singing I Love You Chicken doesn't help when you got to talk about getting a visa. <laughs> wow. I Love You Chicken. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so shout out to that character. Um, but yeah, Sean, it is amazing. And um, honestly, I just, I've never, I've never wanted to watch a show back to back like that for a long time. Star Trek, I'm usually like, give me the next episode. But with this show, I literally, I smashed like six episodes in one go. Do you know what, yeah? I'm, I'm the biggest hypocrite because I stay well away from these kind of shows because I think they're absolute... I'm going to say, I think they're absolute dog shit. Yeah. But if you allow me or you wrote me into watching an episode, yeah. if you try and interrupt me whilst I'm watching, I will tell you to shh. Yeah. And I, yeah. like, I'm just, and I'll just get hooked on some absolute garbage. So I, I, I totally understand why people get. Um, I, I ended up getting roped into watching one of these ones before, but it was yeah. an Australian one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's an Australian version yeah, of it, yeah, I think, yeah. and an American one. Sean, please. Married, but that was married at first. Oh, sight, was that married at first married sight? Yeah, yeah. The Australian yeah, yeah. married at the first sight. I'm the same. I never got Wild, into it, bro. but I watched one episode. Wild. or I watched their final episode where they do the sit down and they start Fam, doing callbacks. Wait, when I, when I tell you, yeah, yeah. fully. They were just fucking with people, like wow. they 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 put they put people together who they knew were not going to be compatible, and they were like, "Let's see what's going to transpire here." And you're yeah. like, 
Probably not what's going. It was still gold. <laughs> that, that, oh, that's 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 they. I like that. I like that. What, what's interesting here is though they found these couples already. So these are real life couples. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So okay. it's not like they've put them together. These yeah, are real life couples. I, heard, yeah. I don't know if this is on this, but I heard of one before where, like, a woman had. Um, she was like quite quite a bit older. She was like maybe sixty five, and then she ended up getting with someone from like he was like Indian or something, uh, a bit South Asian, and he. He was ended up like scamming her initially, and then they ended up like, and then they ended up like getting together, and then they were on like this kind of. Yeah. And I was just like, it, you know what, bro? It, it, and it, it could be a scam. You know I me. Mean? That's what you're thinking as well. Are they trying to scam them? So yeah, man. Ninety Day Fiance. That's it. Like they're real couples, um, larger than life. I. You know what, Sean. I'd, I'm gonna say it. if you do get a chance, stick up, stick on an episode. Watch, watch like two episodes. I'd say. No, but I, the thing is, I know already that yeah. I will get hooked on it. Because I, like, I hate my, is it a scam? I will hate myself yeah. for it though. I will hate. Yeah. I'll be watching it, being like, oh, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? But well, I just can't take my eyes off it. Ah. I, I think I might have sent a clip of it to the group. There's a guy in it who's like, I like, I like her. She's really nice. She's sweet. You know, she's quick and she's got a nice bunda. Oh yeah, 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 that's the guy's off it. Yeah, okay. she's got a nice bunda, and I'm okay. like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, that like, oh, what's this uh, show? Like, it's just, it was just, okay, okay, it was okay, just like, that. and he, and he is. I'm not even gonna spoil any names or anything. He is an amazing character because I think he truly is in love. But is his other? What is his other half? Is the question as we go through it. She's the one who's trying to get, obviously going, yeah. trying to get the uh, over here. Yeah, also, when you thing. see people that come from these warm climates first arrive in the UK, and they see the grey in the sky. And the cold hits them and licks their bones. You see the look of distress in all of their faces because oh, yeah, it is uh, ingrained in us. We're used to she's used to that cold, man. It's mm. something else, something else. Anyway, that's how Sean and I've been killing some time this week. DD. The Meg Two still out of cinema. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, Night yes. Day Fiance on a it's a disc, it's one of those discovery streaming platforms that, that's out there. But yeah, check that out. Right, Sean. So I guess it's time for us to get into this next part of the show because we're pretty tight for time, and that is jokes. Of the week, 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 week. All right, I'll start off with some short. Even when we get the new soundboard, are we still going to do that? I think you should. You know, should we just record that in and put that in? Right, I've got some short jokes for you, Sean. I think the rainforest cafe takes the whole rainforest theme way too far. This one time, I was sitting in there eating my chicken tenders, and they bulldozed forty percent of the restaurant. Oh man! Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, shall I go? Do you want to go? Oh, right. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I searched a list. I searched for a list of ten puns to find one that made me laugh. No pun intended. <sighs> it took me a second. It took me a second. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's going to be one of the ones that I'm going to retell that at some point. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good one. It's, 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 you know what? It's concise. All right. I got one. <laughs> to the person who stole my copy of Microsoft Office, I will find you. You have my word. <laughs> oh, God. That's a... Come on. Oh, you're going to take that oh, to an IT yeah, man then somewhere, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All okay, right, okay. man. When you're ready, Sean. Hey, I've, I've, only got, I've only got long form. form on, crack on. Crack on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have here. You have my word. I like that. Good pun. Yeah. Quite punderful though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I love a good pun, man. Mm. I love a good pun. All right. An old blind cowboy wanders into an all-girl biker bar by mistake. He finds his way to a bar stall and orders some coffee. After sitting there for a while, he yells to the waiter, Hey, wanna hear a, you want to hear a blonde joke? The bar immediately falls absolutely silent. In a very deep, husky voice, the woman next to him says, Before you tell that joke, cowboy, I think it's only fair given that you're blind. There's five things that you should know. There's a bartender. The bartender's a blonde girl with a baseball bat. The bouncer is a blonde girl. I'm a six foot, 175 pound blonde woman with a black belt and karate. The woman sitting next to me is blonde and a professional weightlifter. The lady to your right is blonde and a professional wrestler. Now, think about it seriously, mister. Do you still want to tell that joke? The blind cowboy thinks for a second, shakes his head and mutters, nope, not if I've got to explain it five times. <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, a bad rap, they? They man, a bad it's rap. all right, man. Everyone can get it. That's great. I like that. I like that. Oh man. Oh. You want me to go, Sean? Yeah, go. go. All right. This is an absolute classic, but I have to bring it to the table. If you know the end of it, play along. All right, all right. A man had been drinking at a bar all night and was sick down the front of his shirt. 
He said out loud, oh man, I can't go home like this. My wife will kill me. The bartender sees this and says, look, put a 20 pound note in your pocket. And when she sees the mess, tell her some drunk person was sick on you and gave you 20 pounds for the dry cleaning. So the guy goes home. The wife sees the mess on his shirt and asks what happens to which he says, look, a drunk guy was sick on me and he gave me 20 pounds to pay for my dry cleaning. His wife then says, okay, but then why do you have 40 pounds in your hand? He said, oh, because he also shit in my pants as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you know that reminds me of, you know, that one reminds me of the, um, it reminds me of the, uh, do you remember the Gervais, uh, joke where he talks about, uh, his mate who is, um, uh, who is, uh, works in the hospital mm-hmm. and someone came in and said that, um, uh, the, the guy came in with a bottle stuck up his ass. And they asked, oh, yeah. and they asked him how he did it, and he said, "Oh, I, I got I bought some groceries, went back home, started to climb, realized I left my keys, started to climb the, the outside of my house, slipped, and my trousers <laughs> and pants <laughs> fell down." <laughs> and then afterwards, they removed it, and it had a condom on the end. Oh, of the bottle. oh, oh man! Grim. Oh, grim. All right, um, man. Oh, this is a this is a fairly short one. All right, again, dirty jokes. I flopped my cock out in front of a girl last night and said, do you like my new piercing? After staring at my penis for 30 seconds, she said, where's the piercing then? Oh, it's in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of doesn't make sense for us. So for whatever reason, I still find it. <laughs> uh, right, I've, got one, I've got one. This is a pretty long form joke and I don't know you guys to tell me whether or not this is worth the wait, but I'm going for it. You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Three vampires are having a competition to find out who's the most vicious vampire of them all. In the, of them in the in world! The world. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the first one says, watch this. He flies super fast. After 10 minutes, he comes back with blood all over his mouth. They ask, what happened? You see that house over there? The others nod their heads. Well, I killed the entire family and sucked their blood dry. Wow, fascinating. Then the second one takes the next turn and says, watch and learn, guys. He flies twice as fast as the first vampire. After only five minutes, he comes back with blood all over his mouth and his neck. What happened, they asked. Is that village over there? Well, I killed every last person in that village. And I sucked their blood dry. And they were like, yo, this guy is just on it. Finally, the last one steps up and says, don't blink or you'll miss it. He flies even faster. But after a mere 30 seconds, he comes back with blood all over his mouth, his neck, his nose. They were like, what did you do? See that big ass tree over there? They were like, yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing like a, ah, 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 ah. One. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> One. Right, in October, we should actually do Halloween jokes. All for October. Let's do it, man. Let's yeah, do it. Oh, that is that fantastic. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. All right, here's one, right? This is a longer one, right? Dad is listening to his daughter say her prayers before bedtime. She says, God bless mummy and God bless daddy and God bless grandma and goodbye grandpa. The dad goes, hang on a second. Why'd you say that? The girl says, I don't know. I just feel like saying it. The next day, grandpa drops dead. Wow, thinks the dad. That's an odd coincidence. A month later at bedtime, the daughter says, God bless mummy and daddy and goodbye grandma. Sure enough, the next day, grandma breathes her last earthly breath. The dad realises this is way more than a coincidence, but he's not sure what to do. He doesn't want to disturb his wife by telling her grandma and grandpa were her parents. Months go by and one night the man is listening to the daughter saying her prayers at bedtime. God bless mummy. She turns her head and looks straight at him and goodbye daddy. Dad goes, what? Are you sure, honey? She nods. The man's heart begins racing. He breaks out in a sweat. He gets so upset he can't sleep at night. The next day he goes off to work but locks himself in his office. He takes his phone off the hook, cancels all his meeting and waits for the inevitable. He stays at work past five because he feels secure there. He watches the hours tick by. Finally, it's midnight. Drenched in sweat, he realises he has cheated death. He drives home, soaking in his sweat and with his nerves frazzled. His wife is up and waiting for him. Where the hell were you today? She says. He replies. Sorry. His wife is up and waiting for him. Where the hell were you today? She says. He replies. Don't shout. I've had an absolutely miserable day. His wife then says. You've had a miserable. You've had a miserable day. I'm the one who's had a miserable day. First, the milkman dropped dead on the steps. (sighs) Got there in the end. (laughs) Couple trips, but got there in the end. It's an alright one though, isn't it? Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got one more for you. Yeah, An old, well-spoken woman goes to a pet store to buy a parrot. Everything is fine until she brings it home. 
It begins to swear uncontrollably. F this, F that, F you. And finally, the lady can't stand it anymore. So she grabs the bird, shoves it in the freezer and slams the door shut. Squawking and shrieking and pounding and cursing coming out of the freezer for a few moments. Then it goes quiet. The woman is scared that she's hurt the bird and opens the freezer. The parrot then walks out calmly and steps gently onto the woman's outstretched hand. He looks her in the eyes and says, Ma'am, I'm truly sorry if my language offended you and this will not recur ever again. I promise. If I may ask, what did the chicken do? Hey, I, I, you know what? I've seen this one before. I've seen this one before. And I only remembered it. It's a good one. It's a cheeky one, man. It's a cheeky one. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are our jokes. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with some longer form ones. Yeah, I need yeah, to practice yeah. my reading. <laughs> nah, we're I, getting there. Hey, some compared, to week, compared to last week, you just smashed it there, bro. <laughs> Oh, you've got you've gone up like six levels, but the but but the baseline was quite was was fairly low. <laughs> it's like the it's like the the ba- baseline of spice in India versus the spa- baseline of, of mm. spice here in the UK. Yeah. relatively low. Last week's baseline, you weren't going to be limboing limboing underneath <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, I even like t- long form couldn't even I stick like my trainers form. underneath it. All right, man. One more thing for you, Sean. Though these are these are instead of top ten facts, these are the top ten things that you need to try saying without sounding sarcastic. So if I say it, will you say it too? Right. And we'll try and say it not being sarcastic. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, what, what a shame. Am I, am I trying to not sound sarcastic? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Does... <laughs> Sounds thrilling. Sounds sounds thrilling. Nah, this is this is not going to work, man. This is <laughs> this is one of my favourite. Uh, yeah, g- good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> no. Ah, oh. well done, you. I I, dis- I don't like that one. You know, like, know oh, that. Oh, did that trigger no, you? Oh, oh wow. I, that was that was something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was that was like something. Uh, I don't know. Well I done, was, like, you. I think that was like a, something that my dad would say. Well yeah. done, you. And I'd be like. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks. Thanks for that. No, I don't want to. Thanks for that. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> Fascinating. No, that one is. That one is like. I've never heard anyone say that. Nonsense. Fascinating. But, um, yeah. Mm, f- fascinating. Have fun. Fuck me, right. Have fun. Yeah, have fun, man. But you would say like you'd be like, oh, have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That one. That one on, on the on the fence right. on that one. Good for you. Yo, that is that's one that <laughs> it's, uh, I feel like I feel like that's one that that, uh, that a lady has said in the past, and you're just like, oh no, yeah, I've I've that's I shouldn't have done or said that that I fucked up. <laughs> I did this. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. Red alert. But, uh, oh. <laughs> the last one. That's great. That's great. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I've really tried. The more you try I, to not make know, it sound right? sarcastic, the uh, worse, isn't it? But I do this in general. Sometimes I say things and people will be like, I'm like, no, 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 I, I meant that. And the more that you try and go, no, 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 I meant that. Yeah. It's really great. Yeah, no, no, honestly, it's good for you. Have fun. Fascinating. Fascinating. That, yeah, well done, you. Well done. Good luck with that. <laughs> Sounds thrilling. Wow. Um, so that is the top 10 things you can't say without sounding sarcastic. Um, yeah, man, um, I've had a really good time on the sh- show. Sean, we have to get time is against us. We have to wrap this up early. I think what we can do to make up for it is have longer episodes in the future. We'll we do this. We'll hit some longer ones. Um, what we're going to do is um, we have got a Facebook group for How to Kill an Hour. We will share that in a show description at some point in the future so you can share your stories, top 10 facts, dad jokes, and long form dad jokes as well. Maybe we'll read them out in the episode. Maybe you can even put the spicier ones in there that are a bit too spicy for the podcast. Uh, and also, shout out to all of those that are following us on the Facebook, Instagram, at How to Facebook? Kill an Hour. Facebook is doing its job in it. <laughs> uh, and at Marcus Bronzy, M A R C U S B R O N Z Y. Where can we find you, Sean? You can't, but Sean S E A N. <laughs> Not Sean S H U A N U A. Who's the A U N? Schwan. 